Millions of kids across California, they attend summer camps every year. And right now, there's a bill in the works to improve safety standards at the state capitol. A local father is using his own tragedy to help protect other children. Doug Forbes is the founder of the Meow Meow Foundation. His daughter Roxy drowned while attending a summer camp. He is here joining us live to talk about this important legislation that you are working towards. And um, Doug, first, we just want to say we are so sorry for your loss. And we are so grateful um, that you're taking the time to share this important information with us. So thank you. Well, thank you very much. And so tell us about the legislation to help develop safety standards for summer camps here in California. Well, you know, in, in the wake of my daughter's death, I realized that day camps are not regulated at all. There's no licensing requirement. There's no oversight. And um, overnight camps are, are scarcely regulated at best. Um, so my wife and I, not only founded our foundation to uh, improve uh, safety at aquatics locations and camps, we also realized that we need some sweeping changes in California. So we worked with Assemblyman Holden here in, uh, in Pasadena to develop uh, a bill called AB, Title AB 1737, which affords different types of protections for 1.5 to 2 million children at thousands of, of summer camps throughout the state. Yeah, and you know, let's talk about, you know, a lot of kids will be going to summer camps for this summer. So what should parents know before actually signing up for these summer camps? Well, I, I think it's really important that um, parents, first of all, realize that uh, they're the boss. They're, they're actually paying for these services. <laughs> So even though summer camps have uh, even potentially started this year, it's never too late to ask important questions. And I think some of those questions are, number one, um, does the camp have a health supervisor? And uh, does that health supervisor have training or what type of health uh, training does that supervisor have? Number two, does the camp actually um, afford background checks and reference checks? Uh, unfortunately, sexual predation um, at summer camps is, is pretty widespread. Um, I would say number three, uh, you know, one of the least asked questions we found out is, does the camp have insurance? Um, a lot of camps are woefully underinsured and serve up to thousands and thousands of, of kids each summer. Um, and then I think another one is, is the fact that a lot of camps offer what we determined to be high risk activities. So that might be zip, zip lining or uh, some camps have uh, eight year olds shooting uh, live ammunition from uh, 22 caliber rifles. Of course, there's aquatics activities, et cetera. So these are risky or zip lines, high ropes. So ask if the counselors and the staffers are actually certified in those activities and, and are they trained? Um, and then, uh, you know, I, I think overall, uh, you want to get to know who the camp operators and uh, and counselors are. Do your own due diligence before you sign up. And if it's too late for that this summer, for sure, get to know these counselors and operators over time because, um, you know, after all, we're, we're uh, basically giving our children um, to, over to these folks. Um, and this is our precious cargo, so we should know who our Who's, who's caring for them. Yeah, absolutely. That's really uh, a great reminder, great information for parents out there. And really quickly, where can people go for more information about your organization and about the bill? Sure, well, you know, they can find all that information at our website, uh, frankly, which is meow, meow, like the cat, meow, meow, foundation dot org. You could also uh, look up AB 1737 Holden, that's who's carrying the bill, online. And if you Google that, you should be able to go right directly to the bill itself. All right, Doug Forbes, thank you so much for being with us this morning. And again, just sharing this really important information. My pleasure. Thank you very much. Yeah, and we will also have this information we talked about on CBSLA.com. Uh, just click on Scene on TV.